The story took place during the era of the commander of the faithful, Umar ibn al-Khattab. May God be pleased with him. Hurry, Umar Amara. We are late and the night has come upon us. I'm almost done, Mom. Come on, my daughter, so that thieves wouldn't attack us. What thieves? Commander of the Faithful has eradicated the robberies with his justice. You are right. Those who were thieves have turned into two kinds of people. Either fear from the wrath of Omar or repented and they have started earning halal. Come on, Um Amara. The milk is little tonight. Thank God anyway. Camel's milk is heavy. So if we mix it with a little bit of water, no one will notice. Ah, uh, what is this, Mom? How can we deceive people? My daughter, we are poor and we need more money. Did you not hear the commander of the faithful when he forbade mixing milk with water and any kind of fraud in trade? وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا اكْتَالُوا عَلَى النَّاسِ يَسْتَوْفُونَ وَإِذَا كَالُوهُمْ أَوْ وَزَنُوهُمْ يُخْسِرُونَ أَلَا يَظُنُّ أُولَئِكَ أَنَّهُمْ مَبْعُوثُونَ لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ يَوْمَ يَقُومُ النَّاسُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Shut up and get in the house. Umar ibn al-Khattab will not see what we are going to do. If Umar does not see us, the Lord of Umar sees us all the time. يَسْتَخْفُونَ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يَسْتَخْفُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ مَعَهُمْ إِذْ يُبَيِّتُونَ مَا لَا يَرْضَى مِنَ الْقَوْلِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِمَا يَعْمَلُونَ مُحِيطًا The commander of the faithful, Umar ibn al-Khattab, was passing by on his tour to inspect the conditions of the Muslims and heard the two women's conversation. You are back, Umm Amara. For how much did you sell the milk? Two dirhams. If you had listened to me and mixed it with water, you could have sold it for five dirhams. And what is the value of a sustenance that God does not bless? Oh, my daughter, I am older than you and I understand the world better than you. You should deceit and fraud so you can earn among the merchants. No, mom, believe me, no deception is needed to earn a livelihood. The livelihood is the one thing that God has promised us in the heavens. And in heaven is your livelihood and all that you have been promised. Indeed, God said the truth. Who knows, I may even get what we didn't even think of. Come on, eat this good date with bliss and healing. <laughs> Mu'ammara O oh God, praise and thanks are due to you as it should be to the glory of your face and the greatness of your power. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبَ وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَالِغُ أَمْرِهِ قَدْ جَعْلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدْرًا Who would believe, my daughter, that the commander of the faithful is knocking on our door to engage you to his son, Asim? The ruling caliph whose command is obeyed seeks to betroth a poor milk seller like me? Rather, he chose for his son a God-fearing wife and a treasure of good character. Do you remember, my mother, 
and in heaven is your livelihood and all that you have been promised. Indeed, God said the truth. If you give birth to a son, of course, you will call him Omara, won't you? I would rather Omar to be just like his grandfather, Al Farooq. How are you now, Layla's mother? I'm fine, thank God. I couldn't sleep because of your daughter tonight. You don't have to bother your mommy, baby. What a beautiful girl. I would have loved to have a boy for you named Omar after your noble father. Layla means the world to me, O oh, mother of Layla. God willing, she is destined for glory. Indeed, this girl Layla grew up and from her offspring came the boy Umar bin Abdulaziz, the fifth of the rightly guided caliphs, and similar to Umar ibn al-Khattab in his justice and wisdom.